Hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Prince of FNAF, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And also, be sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you'll indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this in the future. <laughs> what? Godzilla was gonna fight Batman? in an old movie produced by Toho called Batman vs. Godzilla? What the fuck? And he was gonna kidnap Batwoman? Barbara Gordon Batwoman from the 1960 TV show Batman? I gotta sit down for a minute. <laughs> Kidnapping young and seemingly attractive women, hmm? It kind of seems more like a King Kong thing rather than a Godzilla thing. Learn your kaiju, man. So, as for usual, since this is a dropped project that was discontinued and they decided not to make this film, there's not much known about what was going to become of Batman vs. Godzilla. All we know is that it was going to take place during the 1960s show, and we were going to see an Adam West Batman and we were going to see Robin team up to stop Godzilla after Godzilla abducted Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl, and went off someplace. And so they were going to team up with their awesome gadgets and put a stop to Godzilla. There was going to be a scene where Batman and Robin were scaling up the side of Godzilla. You know, your 80s slash 90s inspired Batman goodness. And then they were going to plant a bomb on him. Then they were going to get down and Godzilla was going to blow up and he was going to fly to space. What the actual fuck? What was this movie? I'm kind of glad that they they brought this off of the uh, off of the market because it's actually a really stupid idea. The fact that they were gonna actually make Godzilla defeated by basic gadgets and gizmos is just really stupid, and not what the character was all about. I mean, if you look at some of the original Godzilla films, Godzilla was depicted as Japan's fear of nuclear testing, and yeah, I mean, having a character that has that dark of an upbringing being defeated by casual gadgets and explosives is just really stupid. And the idea of him abducting a young woman for no apparent reason is just another, again, it's another, it's another thing that's just stupid. But hey, as Godzilla in Japan became more, more popular, they kind of started going off in really stupid and cheesy areas, so who knows, this may have worked with Godzilla movies for that time period, as Godzilla began doing stupid things closing to that time period of Godzilla movies. I mean, he drop-kicked a insect monster, he learned to talk, and he learned to fly by curling up like a shrimp and flying backwards. So, you know, Godzilla movies have done some other stuff in the past, so it's not that, you know, it's not that surprising for me, to say the least. But hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for the idea of having, of, or of having had a Batman vs. Godzilla movie? Or are you on the same page that I am, that it's just a stupid idea, and you're glad that it was left on the cutting room floor? Let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, do take care, and have a great night.